You're retro trekking with the Caramel Apples podcast, the apple snack that brings you a retro vibe, both crunchy and sweet, with your hosts Kennedy Rizzo and Cooper Lee. your apple snack star wars edition 3po come in 3po 3po where can he be 3po come in 3po 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 where can he be 3po will you come in We'll dive in. Hello, Orchard Archivers. Welcome back. <laughs> Thank you for deciding to push play and spend a little more time with us today. <laughs> You're in for a caramel nutty time. <laughs> So we're just getting started with a look into the brilliant character of our most beloved Star Wars this week, lightsaber-wielding Luke Skywalker. Luke. <laughs> oh, yay! La, 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 Luke. Luke, I am your father. La, 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 la. <laughs> this was one of those components that really this story was built on Luke. That's right. That's right. That's what's so cool about it. You know, so we are definitely looking forward to handling our hero. We'll, we'll do our best effort, will we not? <laughs> we try. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, you know, getting right started. Luke was raised by his uncle Owen and Aunt Beru on the planet of Tatooine. You know, they try to protect him from the knowledge of who his biological father is, and hopefully prevent him from, you know, following in Darth's path. Okay. But this is all in hopes that he remains a farm boy and supports the family business. <laughs> hey, you know, you can think of real life scenarios. People we know, right. where their families had expectations, of, like they had big hopes and dreams. Yes. But their family, for whatever reason, it was just like that. You know, they're like, just keep it chill. Exactly. You know, don't go reaching for the stars or whatever. Yeah, Luke's like, uh-uh. <laughs> no, guys. Let me do what I want to do. Right. <laughs> and and he does kind of have that, you know, sentiment as he's getting started in his story role, right? Like, yeah. he's he's kind of pouty. He's, he's kind of kicking stones and, you know, kind of... <laughs> Oh, just let me do what I want to do. That's right. You know, and at the time he was ready to become a, you know, a great fighter pilot. You know, that was his hopes and dreams. And he had no idea what he had within him, you know, to sure. become. So, you know, and his <laughs> aunt and uncle were definitely trying to protect him as long as they could. But, you know, he's yeah. 19. He's, right. He's going to start venturing out whether you want him to or Yeah, not. that's right. <laughs> just hope they make some good choices along the way. That's right. <laughs> But in the words of Leia, you know, like in regards to Solo, he's got to follow his own path. No one can choose it for him. Hashtag facts. Yeah. <laughs> Luke is already quite the accomplished pilot and has a knack for adventure, droids, and a curiosity that will lead to the greatest adventure of his life and ours for watching. All right. Yes. Saga 
Stay tuned. We'll unfold. Good word saga. Carmel saga. <laughs> Carmel saga. <laughs> So, going from blowing up the Death Star, he loses a hand in one real battle with his arch nemesis slash father, Darth Vader, and, and he tries to convince him and join forces with old daddy by end of episode six. He's got a lot going on in his plate, like, yeah, full storyline. That's right. And how many of you 19-year-olds out there can relate to that? Exactly. <laughs> what is hard? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so Luke is 19 when his story starts out. But he is forced to grow up quite quickly as the story unfolds. Facing your greatest fears and challenges has that effect on a young Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> He loses his master, Obi-Wan, by the end of A New Hope, but was persuaded to seek out Yoda to complete his training. You must choose the Force. You do not accidentally become a Jedi Knight, do you? That was terrible. Um, let's try that again. You must choose the Force. You do not accidentally become a Jedi Knight. Do you? <laughs> that stunk. <laughs> <It's good. laughs> no take threes on that. Oh, that was good. You did fine. <laughs> Thank you. You know nothing that I say. Master, moving stones around is one thing. This is totally different. No. No different. Only different in your mind. You must unlearn what you have learned. And aren't we glad for that? I mean, becoming a Jedi would be <laughs> quite an undertaking. I mean, obviously, not everybody can do it, you know? That's right. So, so cool. I mean, I love this. I love this story. <laughs> you know, and as we mentioned in our Star Wars episode, um, the original title for this saga was Star Wars, The Adventures of Luke Skywalker. There we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that just sets it up. Um, yes, this is Luke's story and, and what a quest he is on. Which is what you brought out at the beginning of our um, Apple Snack this week. You know, this is kind of his thing. Exactly. His caramel saga. So yeah, Luke Skywalker is played by the uh, infamous Mark Hamill. Yeah, and he, I believe this is really where he got his start. Okay, okay. This is what catapulted him, so... Well, he's a bad man, pajama. So, because of probably <laughs> Star Wars being the big footprint for him um, in his acting career, he got a star on the Walk of Fame. So, Yay! well done, Luke. Well done. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, and as we mentioned before, he goes from the typical young adult, gee golly, Uncle Owen, I was going into Tashi Station to pick up power converters. <laughs> Who wanted to go with my friends? Blah blah converters. Uh, you know, it's like <laughs> Uncle Owen's probably like, I've heard enough. Shut up. Get the droids. Let's go. These darn teens. Exactly. <laughs> We're doomed. He kind of stays pessimistic for quite some time. A few highs, but he stays in his head way more than his masters would like. Exactly. He doesn't get the full scale of why he must change his pattern and get on with the new way of seeing things. Yeah, yeah. And Yoda, already reluctant to train him, feels he has way too much negative emotions. Mm -hmm. Like, he's he's got to rein that in. That's one, that is like a key component. Right. You've got to have self-control. Right, right. That's a good lesson for all of us, isn't that? <laughs> yes. That's, where's my pen? Let me write that down. Yes. <laughs> Just tie a string on your finger at work. <laughs> <laughs> yes, control myself. <laughs> you know, and Yoda brings the ship up onto dry land. This is after it sank down, you know, there on Dagobah. And, you know, Luke was very pessimistic. He didn't think that he was going to be able to do it. You know, even after all the training he had already received. Right. He didn't think he could do it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Luke still didn't quite get it. He says, <laughs> I don't believe it. 
And Yoda quietly says, that's why you fail. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you're here for. You're learning the ways of how to handle the force. Come on. Yes. And I, and I love the parallels of how, like what we were just saying a little bit ago, when people are coming into themselves or getting training or trying to connect the dots. Yes. It, it, it sounds, it seems easy. It looks good on paper. Yeah. But, like, actually walking through life and making choices on the day-to-day -day or whatever, whatever you're involved with, is not so simple sometimes. It isn't. Yeah, because, I mean, we're Gen Xers. You know, you go back and you think, um, some of the dumb things that you did or didn't do, <laughs> hindsight's always twenty twenty. Always twenty twenty. And you think of it now, and you're like, it should have been so simple. Uh-huh. Is it simple, Luke? <laughs> I don't know. That's what we're talking about. He'll figure it out, right? <laughs> Come in, 3 <Rupio. laughs> <laughs> But you know, as a new viewer, you could easily feel, will this Skywalker succeed? Really keeps you guessing. Yeah, it really does. And it's, it's nice because with him being such a strong driver of the story, we're wondering, how's he going to proceed into the next scene? And where's this path taking him exactly? You know, and he's, he's got this person that he's got to face. And that's daunting. So he's an epic character. Yes. So right. of course, Luke has his own theme song. So, you know, it kind of introduces him into what's coming next. You know, anytime you hear it on the screen, you know Luke's showing up. What's going to be happening? What's he going to do now? So. That's right. And here's our caramel version. <laughs> phrase of the franchise is spoken by Luke Skywalker. I have a very bad feeling about this. I've got a bad feeling about this. I have a bad feeling about this. I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, you and me both. Oh, we've heard this around before, haven't we? Yes, we have. <laughs> that was in episode four, Approaches Death Star, First to say. Yes, yes. And that would be ominous, right? Yeah. As we covered in our uh, season finale, the Death Star was nothing to be toyed with. <laughs> version of Darth. <laughs> the flying metal version of Darth. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, it's in the name, right? <laughs> yes. Death Star? Ominous. <laughs> okay. You can't see us archivers, but now Darth's leaning to the side as his helmet and her thing. <laughs> he likes to give attitude. <laughs> he has so much to give. He does. He is never in short supply. <laughs> Gotta love Darth. <laughs> I know. There's no escape. 
So Luke does have a lot of growth through the franchise. Um, he deals with being fatherless to learning the truth about who Vader is and, and how he naturally feels that people that he trusted and came to know, they haven't told him everything. You know, that starts to kind of play with them a little bit. It's right. getting in his head. It would. Getting in his feelings. Come on, Luke. <laughs> We've already had this lesson. <laughs> That's right. Oh, yeah. Where's my notebook? <laughs> I know I've jotted that down. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I guess Kurt Russell in an interview with USA Today, circa 2017, said that he was in the final round to play either Luke or Han. Aha. Uh -huh. But dropped out of the process to star in a TV Western show. <laughs> that ran for one numero uno season. What? I wonder how he feels about that now. <laughs> I mean, he's a star in his own right, but right? Star Wars is Star Wars. All this says is a TV Western. <laughs> it could be anyone. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gosh, wonder if he ever regrets that, right? Yeah. I mean, he had a, a, a pleasing career and all, like you mentioned. He did, sure. he did some stuff. Yeah, we know his name. And I guess, you know... Before Star Wars became what it did, Star Wars was just a, an idea on paper. So people really didn't know what yeah. its potential was. Yeah. So someone passing on it, yeah, maybe they're like, yeah, it's just whatever. <laughs> but come on. Yeah, the regret has to be real. So for him to have a solo season of a TV show, hmm. Yeah, totally see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> well... Also, Chris Griffin portrayed Luke in Family Guy. <laughs> so, okay, Coop is a rabid fan of Family Guy, so there's going to be a lot of references throughout these Apple Snacks to Family Guy. So. It just lends itself. We got to love her for that. So. <laughs> well done. <laughs> so anyway, Chris Griffin portrayed Luke in Family Guy Star Wars episodes. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, Robot Chicken, uh, Seth Green, Lego stars, video games, Lego movies. There's so much. There is, like, parody after parody. Yeah. And actually, Bill Pullman's Lone Star character <laughs> <laughs> actually represents both Solo and Skywalker. So, plenty of parody references to the Star Wars franchise. Well done. Yeah, so they wrapped that all up in a nice little bow, didn't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're like, okay, one character can just do both roles instead of paying one or two different characters. Yeah, he can handle them both. And he did a good job. He really did. That movie's hilarious, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> so also on that, um, like we said, with pop culture, Star Wars is just massive. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's made its way into movies, TV, jokes, parodies, yeah, um, music. It's been in a lot of stuff. So, I think everybody's probably heard of Space Goes Coast to Coast. Love him. Yeah, he's nuts. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's a funny talk show, and he's had Mark Hamill on as a guest, and he called him Duke Fartknocker. <laughs> Mark Hamill takes everything in stride. He probably loves it. You know, he's like, yeah. he's part of this history. That's cool. So he's probably like, yeah, whatever. I just roll with it. Let's just go. That's cool. And also in Jay and Silent Bob Strikes Back, um, he was Luke Crow <laughs> Knocker. Oh, 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 oh gotcha. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, pivotal moments for Luke. Master Yoda is Darth Vader, my father. That was terrible. Um, let's try that again. That's supposed to be Luke. Is it? <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Okay. Pivotal moments for Luke. Master Yoda, is Darth Vader my father? Rest I need. Yes, rest. Yoda, I must know, Yoda. <sighs> Your father he is. Told you, did he? Yes. Unexpected this is, and unfortunate. 
unfortunate that I know the truth. No unfortunate that you rushed to face him. That incomplete was your training. That not ready for the burden, were you? I'm sorry, remember a Jedi strength runs from the force. Dark side, are they? Once you go there, no coming back. Last of Jedi will be you. Last of the Jedi will you be. Luke, there is another Skywalker. Soon I will be dead, and you along with me. That was classic. You delivered those lines of Yoda <laughs> and Luke very nicely. Very stinky. <laughs> <laughs> I just need to stick to watching it. <laughs> and what I just quoted was actually what he said to the Emperor. Oh. So, you know, he's... He's had, he's dealing with some heavy hitters with the Force. Right, right. On good and bad. Mm -hmm. So Luke is really sent out in epic proportions dealing with these situations that he just keeps facing and he's not quite ready. Mm. And that's what his masters are trying to drill into him. You need to stay and learn so that you can go out and handle the other side. Because the other side is not going to come to you going, okay, let's put a bib on you and, you know, we'll spoon feed you this little at a time. They're, no. Right, right. They're ready to take his knees out from under him. Mm. Yeah. So, I mean... But he's, he's ready for the challenge. He goes out and meets them. But what do they say? The hubris of the young? Right. That's exactly what that is. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's true. You failed, your highness. I'm a Jedi, like my father before me. So as a master Yoda on his deathbed says to Luke, there is another Skywalker. <laughs> Obi-Wan says, that boy is our last hope, Yoda. No, there is another. Oh, wow. Okay, <laughs> so, questions, 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 right? That's right. With the new viewer in mind, who is this person? <laughs> who is this other Jedi? Or who is this potential Jedi? Who is right. this other Skywalker? Who is our possible other hope if we lose Luke? Because he's running out foolhardy. What's going on? <laughs> That's right. So, yeah, I love it. I love that we've started down this path. That's Hopefully right. our, our listeners are enjoying it. That's right. And speaking of you Orchard Archivers, are you rabid fans like Coob and myself of Star Wars? Yes. What are your favorite parts? What do you like that you remember from the movies that Luke Skywalker, Yoda... Or any of the Star Wars characters. What are your favorite memories and quotes from the movie? Tag us on social media. We have X, Instagram, TikTok. Check us out on YouTube. Come by and say hi. Let's talk Star Wars. This was an awesome discussion, Coop. <laughs> ah, so ready for the next. That's right. There's more. There's caramel more. <laughs> And that's it for this week's Apple Snack. But as you know, there's always more where that came from. So stay tuned. If this episode entertained you, please subscribe and leave us a five-star written review. Spreading the word really is the best way to grow our podcast and share more iconic memories. See you next time in the Retro Orchard. And thanks so much for listening. <laughs>